found their camp. But where are they? Look at the mess around here. It looks like something big has turned the place upside down. Our first concern is that fire. Douse it, will you? Take a look around their camp and see if there's anything that can tell us where they went. Look, a notepad. Hmm. Interior haunted mine. Explains a little bit about their trespassing. What's this? Notes on their show, maybe? Oh, it's a script. Wow. She's dedicated it to her younger self. No, surely not. Not even the most ignorant townie would even consider baiting animals out here. Bigfoot bait. Looks a lot like dog food and stale donuts to me. Well... This tells a story of some truly bizarre people, but it doesn't help us find them. That was a scream, but I can't see anything. Get to the lookout. Maybe you'll see something that I can't. I've got them. They're here, coming out of the forest. What the? One of them is covered in blood. They've seen me. Over here! Make your way to me! Get into the plane! Everyone is on board. It looks like a bear attacked one of them. She needs a doctor right now. I can't wait around. We're taking off. I've got this. Heading back to base. We'll have a doctor standing by. Can you take care of their camp? We can't have it lying around, attracting bears. Hey there, Chichiko. I'll bet you have a lot of questions that you want to ask me, huh? Before you start, let me just give you the highlights. Baden's face and shoulder were pretty torn up. She took a swipe from a fully grown grizzly, all while her friends accidentally, or should I say, incidentally, bear sprayed her. The spray likely saved her life, though. They thought that a 22 pistol was enough protection against grizzlies. So as well as spraying the bear, they shot it in the side. I've seen bears shrug off spray and even larger caliber rounds. So I'd say these guys are lucky it decided to run off, instead of making it angrier. Anyway, Baden's in surgery this morning. The bear's claws gave her some nasty head wounds, and it was able to sink its teeth into her shoulder before running off. She'll be out of it for a few days. I'll question her when doctors say she's ready. I have to say, you handled yesterday well, Chichiko. You kept a level head, even when things went off the rails. I've had rookie troopers under my care who would have struggled in the same scenario. It's entirely possible that you saved that film crew's lives. Not only did you help to solve a crime that led to us saving some woefully underprepared, um, let's just say... Explorers, shall we? You took care of the mess at the mine. 
and at their camp, too. It's not like this is the first big impact your work has had on the reserve. You helped us to quarantine a potentially devastating infestation of spruce bark beetles. You assisted with scientific research programs and helped us to safeguard Yukon Valley's future. I know it might have seemed counterintuitive to hire a professional hunter when the plan was to protect Yukon Valley's wildlife, but I know that I made the right choice. Your work out here will have far-reaching repercussions for not only the forests, plains, and lakes, but everything that lives here as well. And that includes me. At first, the plan was for you to take over a lot of my informal duties, the tasks that aren't officially part of my job, but are essential to the running of the reserve. Maintaining populations, containing threats and gathering samples for scientific research. All great reasons for hiring a professional hunter. But I told you before that I was looking for someone who understands Yukon Valley. Someone I could trust to take care of it. The same way I do. Your recent time here has been a trial of sorts. Helping me to prepare the reserve for winter. I feel like the reserve is ready now. And that's largely thanks to your efforts. Sandy might have told you, but she's delighted that you've had this effect on the reserve. In this past week, we've spent more time together than we had done in the entire previous month. In fact, now that the reserve is ready for winter, and I have my ambassador out there, I'm making plans to take Sandy and my girls on a trip somewhere nice. What do you think? Beach? Lake? Skiing trip? I'll ask Sandy tonight when I get home. Oh, and when I get back from my vacation, you and I should discuss your contract. Winter in the Yukon is no picnic. But I'd like to invite you to stay on indefinitely, if you're interested. You'll be an old sourdough like me in no time.